Hi and welcome to the Ontario Pesticide Vendor Certification Course. In this video today we'll be looking at the disposal and recycling of pesticides and pesticide containers. When we're dealing with uh, small jugs, 23 liters or less, um, there's three steps that we need to take to recycle these jugs. The first step is to triple or pressure rinse the container and puncture it so it is unusable for any other purpose. Two good reasons to triple or pressure rinse jugs. Number one, that you get 100% of that pesticide into the tank where it needs to be used and that's what you calculated your rates on. The second thing is to reduce the contamination when these containers are recycled. The second step is remove the cap and the paper label, the label booklet, um, and they need to go into the landfill. Uh, so the reason that the cap cannot be recycled, it's actually made of a different type of uh, plastics that does not uh, mix well with the jugs. The third step is return to the nearest collection site. Uh, in Ontario, most dealers that sell pesticides are also involved in the recycling program with clean farms. When it comes to totes and drums, the larger containers, if they are non-deposit, uh, drain and pressure or triple rinse if possible. If they are deposit type totes that you're going to return to the dealership to be refilled, don't rinse them. We don't want to have water contamination in these containers uh, as they are going to get refilled back at the dealership and shipped out once again. When it comes to surplus spray mix, so for example, I'm spraying a 50 acre field and I get to the end and I'm done spraying, but I have an acre and a half or two acres left in my sprayer, uh, either by miscalculation of the area or my calibration was a bit off. Um, ideally, we'd like to see you continue with that spray and treat another labeled crop at the normal rate. However, if that happened to be the last field of the season that you're going to use that type of pesticide, then we can dilute the spray mix at a ratio of 10 to 1 and respray the treated area. We do, however, have to keep in mind we do not want to exceed the maximum rate of that pesticide. We don't want to be delivering crop that's going to have uh, pesticide residue above the MRLs. When it comes to surplus pesticides, so you've got part jugs or containers left over, uh, if they're unopened in good shape, return the unused containers to the supplier. A second choice is to contact a hazardous waste hauler. And third, there is an obsolete pesticide collection uh, that takes place every two years. And um, usually it takes place in the fall of the year. You'll see some advertisements that will tell you uh, where these locations will be and the dates and so on. Another possibility is to contact the municipality, but there are a few municipalities in the province of Ontario that will look after agricultural chemicals.